And y'all, I would ask that we would, we would ask God, and, and this has been one of my prayers lately. Lord, give me three H's. Give me a hunger for your word. The Bible says those who hunger and thirst will be feed. And then I asked the Lord, give me a heart. Now, I don't just want it. I want it to be like y'all have talked about it. I want it to be a part of my thinking, my thoughts, and, 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 and so that it can be a part of the way I, 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 I conduct my life. So not only a hunger and a heart, but give me a happiness in your word. Meaning, y'all, the joy of the Lord really ought to be ours. It really ought to be. Even when you have times of tears. Yes. You, the Christian flag mm -hmm. that waves high over his life ought to be joy. Amen. Yes. Even in times of sorrow, we ought to still have joy. And so pray for that as we as we go into the word. Now, Psalms 107, I'm, I'm, I'm not preaching today. I guess y'all can tell because I normally have on my robe. Amen. Amen. You, the, the, so today I can I can do something else. Psalms 107, we're going to begin at verse 1. And y'all know, as a part of our tradition, we do scripture reading just prior to altar prayer. Amen. And as I was praying this morning, just asking the Lord for what to, what to say during this time, Psalms 107 appeared. And listen at this, y'all. This is scripture reading. And I just ask us to ask for a heart, a hunger, and happiness. See if you can... Think about that as you as we read responsibly this passage. Psalm 107, we're going to read verses 1 through 8. I'll read verse 1 and you read verse 8 responsibly. Now think about it, y'all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Amen. Verse 2. Let the of the Lord say Hallelujah. And gather them yes. out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried Hallelujah. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. We're here today, y'all. Yeah. We're in that city, amen. All the other birds say, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Amen. Don't we want to hunger for that? A heart for it and happiness because of it. Yes. It's prayer time, so if you would choose to come to the altar, you know you're free to do that. Yes. If you would choose to remain where you are. And y'all, I'm almost, I got to give just a little bit more of a release from the Lord. But I'm almost ready for us to do like we used to, and that's hold hands when we have altar prayer. Amen. We used to say for those of you who choose to come, come. But for the rest of us, let's act like family. Amen. Amen. So if you're a husband and wife and you sit there and y'all came to church in the same car, y'all could hold hands. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother Joe. Y'all could hold hands. Yes. But we would invite you, those of you who would so choose, to come to the altar. And I love what I've heard this morning because what has been suggested is that some folk have been walking with the Lord. Amen. Yes. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, sometimes we don't stop and take a minute before we come into your presence. We're not careful, Lord. We bring some of that yester-moment thoughts into this magic moment of your presence. And so right now, Lord, we would ask that you would clear our minds and clean our hearts that we might talk to you right. Our first thing we want to say, Lord, is thank you. Thank you for being so good. And the truth is, Lord, you didn't just start getting good. You've been good all of our lives. Down 
through the ages as we look back, Lord, we realize and remember how you've kept us and brought us and met our every need. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we want to say thank you. And then, Lord, we we go to the next place when we place when we say we bless you and praise you. Your word has said, hallowed be thy name. And so, Lord, we honor and extol you. We acknowledge that you are God and God all by yourself. God who got all power, who can do anything but fail. So it is to you this morning we bring our petitions. We acknowledge, Lord, that we need you and we ask, Father, for your forgiveness. Where we've made mistakes, Lord, in either word, thought, or deed, forgive us. And Lord, we're confessing that quietly before you because we, we know that your word says if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So now, Lord, as we've thanked you and blessed you and asked for your mercy, now we just want to lay all of our cares. Those of us who got children, Lord, some grown, gone and on their own. Would you be with our children, Lord? Would you watch over them, Lord, and take care of them? And, and Lord, whatever you got to do to bring them to you, yes. we're asking you to bring them home, bring Lord. Them, Lord. We want one day to, to meet them in heaven on high. And so whatever has to happen, Lord, whether it be some good or some bad, whatever you got to do, Lord, bring our children to you. Some of us here today, Lord, still got mom and dad that we've been given the awesome responsibility of caring for. Take care of our mom and dads, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be loving supports and systems of encouragement for them. Even in their latter days, pray for mom and dad. And then, Lord, we pray for one another. We pray, Lord, as fathers for our households, as mothers for our children, as family members, for the rest of our families, Lord, that many are still outside of the ark of safety. Bring them back to yourself, Lord. Cousins and uncles and nephews and nieces. And Lord, we ask you to save our family. Save our loved ones. Pray, Lord, for our communities that have seemingly become wastelands of wantonness and folk who have walked away from you, Lord. We ask that you would help in our communities, Lord. Pray for our cities and, and for our nation, Lord, that is seemingly long since forgotten where all of our help comes from. We made laws for everybody and everything but we seemingly left you, oh Lord. Have mercy on America, oh Lord. Have mercy on those that are giving leadership to our government and that are giving protection to our borders, Lord. We pray for all of them, Lord. Pray that before it's everlasting too late that we would turn back to you. And, oh, Lord, we pray for the church. Somehow, some way, Lord, help us to realize that it's us who are the difference makers. You said if my people, the ones who are called by my name, humble themselves and turn from their wicked way, you would, you would forgive our sins, hear our prayers, and heal our land. Help us to be the church, Lord. Help us to take seriously our role and responsibility in these dark days, Lord. Help us to let our light shine wherever we go and in, in whatever we do, Lord. Lord, when it is yours to call, I was answer. We can't do this no more. Our time of working is over. We pray that in that day we would hear you say, well done. Help us to be faithful, Lord. Faithful in our private lives. Faithful in our professional lives, in our public lives. Faithful, Lord, in trials and in troubles. Help us to be faithful. One day we, we might hear you say, well done. And Lord, as we close, we, we would ask that you'd help us to claim your promises. Help us to believe that you are no shorter than the word. And if you said it, you will do it. Help us to believe you and stand on your word today. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask. Amen.
We leave ourselves open for Satan's subtle attacks. Amen. Can he sneak up on you? He can use people. He can use circumstances. He can use all kinds of issues. But when we pray, what we're doing is we're shielding ourselves to be used of the Lord. So we're going to have a leadership meeting. I'd like to say the first Saturday in June. Because we're men are here that Saturday for breakfast anyway. I think the ladies meet, yeah. and it would be great if we could just kind of prayerfully, y'all. I'd like for it to be not long at all, and you can already start thinking about the things that that we need to consider. And, and one of them is, uh, y'all, that we we could buy our Sunday school. Brother Kenny uh, commented on that, but y'all, please hear me. It's time for us to get back to being church age. Amen. 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 I mean, if, if when I go to Buffalo General Hospital now, I can choose to wear my mask or choose not to wear my mask. Yeah. That, re that really means that for the, for the large part, society has calmed down. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear your mask. That's not my point here. My point is things are opened back up, and it's time for us to open back up the church. Yeah. It yeah. really is. Yeah. It's time for us to get back to having... Uh, prayer and Bible study meetings, I know is fun and easy on Wednesdays on Zoom. Amen? Amen. Amen. But I dare you to ask any football player if practice was easy and how to game win. <laughs> Amen. Amen? It's the boys who get out there and do their once a day, twice. Amen. Amen. Those are the boys that have more strength and more finesse and more and more agility. So so y'all, I'm, I'm praying for you. Now, we're not going to end Zoom, not yet. But I want us to be, to be invited back to church. Amen. Uh, y'all, the circumstances have been such nationally, really globally, that folk went away from each other. And you know, when we read the Bible, and the Bible says things like, in the last days there will be a great falling away. We just kind of thought that that was going to be some kind of cosmic occurrence. No, sometimes it's just the practical reality of Satan doing his best to keep us apart. That psalm that we read this morning said that he brought us from the east and from the west, from the north and the south to be back together. So, yes, I know we still need to practice some methods and some means of, of care and wisdom. So we're going to do that. But I really think it's back time now. It's about time. So, so as we prepare for the summer, and if the Lord be so kind, give us another, another fall, I would really, I'm asking you to help us to make this a rich time. One of the tragedies of us being so separated for so long is y'all, we've lost our closeness. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying, man? I know it's the truth, y'all. Families aren't close that much. I can't tell you the funerals that didn't happen because they weren't close. Yeah. And I don't mean they didn't love one another. It was just easier to do it on TV. Or it was easier to, to go to the funeral. It was just easier to take another path. When, when, when what we used to do was make sure we, we honored the life of those that we loved. And so, y'all, I'm asking you, and that's just one instance, but I'm asking you to pray about it. Lord, give us a heart to come back home. Yes. Man. It's 168 hours in the week. And I guarantee you, if you set, if you wrote it on a piece of paper, how many hours you spend in front of the TV? Yeah. Yeah. How many hours Same you pastor. spend on the phone? Well. How many hours you spend on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. Or your or yeah. your tablet or whatever. Mm -hmm. You might find out that you give more of your time yeah. to those kinds of things yeah. than you do yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And y'all, I think God is looking at us. Yes, yes. He's looking at us. He sees our hearts. Y'all, I, I, a lot of that stuff I had to quit looking at because it was too, too subtle in its allurement. Right. Meaning I'm looking at one thing and then the next thing pop up, it's something altogether different. Yeah. And then the next thing pop up and good, gooky monkey, amen? And, whoa! <laughs> And y'all, the Bible says this. The Bible says that, that, that if we lean to the flesh, it makes us insensitive to the spirit. Yeah. 
uh, me and Reverend Jackson, he's here now, he's going to be our preacher for the day. We were simply sitting around and talking about how God had worked in our lives, had been with us. And we started crying. Because we began to think about what God had done and how he brought us and how he ministered to us and how he got involved in, in everything in our lives. I, I can remember Brother Jeff telling me, doing the floor in, in a, on a job, putting down, and the Lord stopped in. Amen. And he was hollering and shouting, Amen. doing the floor. Amen. Brother Bay said, many of you, I've, I've heard your stories, how the Lord has stopped in. Yes, yes. Well, y'all, he stopped in because you invited him in. Yes. 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 He's been all, all the time close by. Yes. But if we don't invite him, he was walking by one day a ship with his boys on it, and they saw him and said, Jesus, would you come here? Uh -huh. So y'all, I took a little bit of time this morning to say it's time for us to get back to coming to church. I mean, all the other things we do, and it's interesting, y'all, the stadiums are back full. Yeah, yeah. The concerts, y'all, they're not just full, the tickets are high. Yeah. And they still go. Yeah. They still go. I looked at one game this week, in the front row seats, y'all, y'all, maybe you can find me wrong. If you, I hope I'm wrong. But here's what I heard. The seats at many of the playoff games yeah. up front are $30,000 a game. It ain't nowhere else for nobody else to see. All of them are full. Stadium is full. You know what that means, y'all? The world might be putting us to shame on the things that they worship. Because they go and they worship their, their issues of appreciation. So it may be time, y'all, for us to first ask the Lord to give us some courage and give us some confidence, meaning think wisely. My, my grandson comes over and he uh, uh, coughing. Hey, stay over there. Hey, Amen. I love you. Stay right over there. And then after I find out he's all right, you come over here. Come on. Amen. When you break me, no heebie jeebies. Amen. <laughs> but, but I'm asking us to reconsider. There are, there are those that are coming back to Bible study. You know what happens when you come back to Bible study? And I'll be through after this. You don't have to worry about no technical glitches. Well, well, People say to me, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> We, we see you, but we ain't heard a word you say it. Amen. Amen. You don't have to worry about that if you come. Amen. And so I'm, I'm praying that y'all, in this last day, the Bible says this, that in the last days there would be a famine in the land. Yes. And not a famine for food no. and for water, for but for the hearing of the word of God. Amen. And y'all, I believe, I, I, I like to think I'm wrong, but I believe we were in that day. There seemed to be a famine. There seemed to be a falling away. The things of the Lord. Seemed, and y'all, just look at what's happening in the law. There are more laws made for, 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 for criminals than there are for Christians. So the evidence is becoming extremely relevant that we're not close to God as we once were. And I invite you to let, and, and so when you come that first Saturday, we're going to talk about some means and some methods. Means and methods can change. Word will never change. Amen? Amen. Maybe we may have to ask God to give us some new wisdom as to how to, how to win and move this, this nation back to God. Amen. If you'd have read just one psalm over, and I'm through. Psalm 106 says that Phineas stood up in the midst of a decaying society. And God stayed his judgment. Thank you. Meaning God stopped. If you read the next verse in that same passage, it says, up until then, 22,000 had died. Because God says, I'm sick of y'all. But somebody stood up and, and said, Lord, I want to do what's right. And so, y'all, I'm inviting you all to pray with me, pray with us, pray for the church. Pray for the church all over the land, all over the nation, because God honors a nation based on those that are in that nation that fear him. Amen. America 
is really not a godly nation. No, it's not. But there are some folks in America that are godly. Yeah. And God has preserved his, he, he's held back his judgment. Thank you. Because of those of us. And so I'm, I'm inviting you. I took all that time, y'all, to say that you're more than welcome back. You, we think that if we'll get back in the things of the Lord, that then the things of the Lord will get back in our lives. The things of God's goodness and mercy and grace is back in our lives. So, so forgive me for taking so long, but I just really want to invite us to Sunday school, Wednesday midweek Bible study. We'll stand before a judge in the next few days. And y'all, I'm telling you, I know what they're doing. They're, 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 they're uh, recording our activity. Mm -hmm. And it would be shameful if they said, those people go over there to their place more often and with more regularity and with greater participation than them church folk do. We need that lot more than they do. Sure. Wouldn't that be shameful? That would be shameful. And so I'm praying, y'all, that we take where God has got us and what's going on, that we take it seriously. Amen? Amen. 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 So I don't know that, that if you look in your, in your uh, bulletin, on the last page, on the front of the last page, it's, it says leadership meeting. And, and it says up there May 21, but it's going to be the first Saturday, at least right now, that's what I'm thinking. First Saturday in June, so that we can prepare for all of our summer activities and all of the things that I need your prayerful uh, support and, and, and wisdom. I don't think I know everything. We don't think we know everything as leadership. We, we want your wisdom. One of the things we're going to do as the, years, uh, as the months progress, we're going to have a day where the young people come and teach us how to use our phones. Y'all laughing? We ain't playing. Play. Us old folks are not playing. I know. Sometimes I'm telling you. Sometimes it stop on me, and I just have to turn it off. Amen. So, so one day out of a month, we're gonna have all the young people come and show us how to do do the phone. Not sure we're gonna do Facebook, but we're gonna do the phone. Amen. Amen. Okay, I think that's all of our announcements. Um, this is third Sunday, so ladies will be going to the city mission for the ladies. And ladies, we invite you to do that. I think as long as we'll keep reaching out, God, God will give us something to give you. Amen? So we ask you to invite you to do that. Uh, are there any other announcements that I'm missing out on? Anything else that I'm missing out on? There's a page that's in your bulletin how we can promote Sunday School, Christian Education Ministry, recommended suggestions. So take that home with you and fill it out. Think it through. Pray about it. Uh, that, that we can get better at ministry. Amen? Amen. No, it, it doesn't happen automatically or by osmosis. It happens because we think about it, pray about it, plan on it. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Uh, if there are no other announcements, are there any, is there anything I'm, I'm missing out on? I, 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 this gentleman is asking me not to call his name out. He's asking me not to make a big deal out of it. But y'all, our front yard looks better than it's ever looked. Amen. 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 And I ain't going to call his name out, y'all, but he's sitting on the back row back there. I ain't going to call his name. But he, 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 he was, his last name is the same last name as Oscar that used to play basketball. I think his name was Robinson or something like that. But I ain't going to call his name out, y'all, but he's been a blessing to our church. Amen. To, to all that God is doing in our lives. Don't do that, brother. Don't do that, brother, because he might not come back. Don't, get told him, Don't put that camera on me, amen. <laughs> but we thank the Lord, y'all. All of those of you, I love what Sister Edie said. Lord, now that I'm at home, I need to go to work. Amen. My prayer as a pastor is, Lord, send forth laborers. A whole lot of folk want titles and positions, but Lord, send us some folk who are not mind, who don't mind going to work. Amen. And I just believe that we'll, that we'll be available to God. God will use us and he'll put glory in our story. Amen. 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 All right. Let's have quiet come now and bless us and so on. Can y'all see why I don't come up here in suits? I come up here in a, in a robe.
Amen. Because you always suck, huh? No, 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 because I don't want y'all looking at me. Amen. Amen. I just want you to see what the, 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 what the Lord is about to do. Amen. In just a moment, I'm going to introduce the preacher for the day. And you're going to see that he, he's sharp too. Amen. 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 Come on, fire. Congratulations, amen. amen. If there are those of you parents, if your child is uh, successfully graduated from one grade to the next, we want to say thank you. We want to bless them. And if they graduate graduated from high school to to the next level, maybe college or maybe the the work world, we want to bless them. So uh, we want to just know. Let us know those of you who got children, or or maybe. Uh, in some cases, parents and relatives that have, have obtained new levels. Sister uh, Melanie uh, made her doctorate's degree this week, and uh, uh, Brother Michael, who's come, who's been a part of our church, he 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 graduated this year, and Amen. others have have did well in school, and we've gotten uh, we've already made some preparations. So uh, let's make sure we honor. The Bible says, "Give honor." to whom honor is due. Amen. Amen. And we want to encourage our children and our people
to do their best. Amen. 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 All right. We're asking to stand now. Let's uh, honor God in our giving. If you want to use your debit card or whatever, please make your way yourself over to the right. Otherwise, would you please follow the leading of the urchins from the rear of the church right around to your to my right. To my left, your right. <laughs> Bless for the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen